Welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. We're back in Foundry VTT in our Fan Delver and Below series where we're building this. Uh, this video isn't about building Fan Delver. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, when we were doing this, room five here, this storeroom, uh, we came across a item. So let me just read from the module. Um, it's called Emboldening Brandy. Um, and they find this amongst the junk. It says this cask contains the equivalent of 20 glasses. A character who imbibes a glass of brandy receives one temporary hit point, but a character who drinks two glasses or more within one hour has the poisoned condition for one hour. Now, I already said when we initially encountered that, that A, I need to create this item, but B, I was going to change it. Uh, I'm not a fan of the drinks two glasses um, within an hour gets poisoned but I don't I don't like that um, and the reason why is as far as I'm concerned if you've got a half orc with a constitution of 18 two glasses of brandy is not going to give them the poison it just doesn't make sense um, but then you take her I don't know let's be stereotypical a weedy little wizard with a constitution of eight because uh, that's their dump stat for whatever reason um, it can can deal with alcohol in the same way and yeah no not having it um i'd much rather prefer that if somebody decides to continue drinking from it and drink several glasses of brandy i'm going to be used constitute constitution saving checks for that um so things like dwarves who have resistance to poison that's actually going to come into play there um whereas a, a as opposed to a flat you get poisoned okay so that's what i want to do so i need to create an item that I'm going to call Emboldened Brandy, and some of you have already spotted what's happened here, <laughs> that uh, when you drink one of the 20 sips, you get one temporary hit point. If you then drink a second one, nothing else happens. You, you, you've, used the, you've used the charge, but it still only gives you one temporary hit point. It doesn't now top that up to two. Um, that's the way I want to do it. So it stops a character from going, I'm going to down the whole lot and get 20 temporary hit points. They're more likely to share it out and use it over time or just sell it. It's up to them. So I have gone ahead and done that on the right hand side. Some of you already spotted that I have created emboldened brandy here. And I just want to take you through what I did uh, and how I got that functioning the way that I want it to for this campaign. So first of all, when we're creating new items, the easiest thing to do is to find a similar item duplicate it and then amend it that's going to save you a bit of time so I took a potion of healing uh, and updated that so I've updated my graphic um, obviously I've updated the name of it and I've updated the description for my version of this uh, it contains the equivalent of 20 sips a character who imbibes a sip of brandy receives one temporary hit point Okay, that bit's really, really easy. You can see I'm expanding that because I want to show you the, some of the details on here. Now, I may need to zoom this in a bit in the edit for you so you can read it a bit easier. Well, I'm going to have to now. Now I've said that, I'm going to have to do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, consumable type. Yep, it's a potion. No uh, attenuation and needed, attunement needed. Um, activation cost one action i know there's lots of people who house rule and say actually a bonus action for imbibing a potion it seems like a a big waste of time for an entire action to drink a potion whatever do whatever you want leaving mine as the default um leaving mine as target one creature a range of touch uh, duration it doesn't have one limited uses i've told it it's got 20 available uses out of a maximum of 20 uh, charges um, you can do it like you know per short rest per long rest per day etc but we want it as charges uh, recovery formula none resource consumption uh, ammunition attribute hit dice etc nope don't want any of those uh, got this box ticked destroy when empty so once they've used a total of 20 charges it just disappears but it shouldn't disappear while it's got charges uh, uses prompt so if unchecked the prompt to consume an available uh, use will be suppressed so we can play with that you leave it on take it off and show you what the difference is uh, action type is healing um, no ability modifier to that and the healing formula is just one and it's healing temporary so obviously i've changed that from you know d4 d6 whatever from the healing potion um, and changed it to one temporary hit point 
no versatile damage, no other formats. So that's really, really easy one to change. Uh, under effects, we don't need anything and we don't need to do anything with MIDI QOL. I've not had to do anything with Builder Bonus or DAE or anything like that at all. Um, of course, I could if I wanted to do, add a little animation on. Can't be bothered. <laughs> for the amount of effort that that takes for one item um yeah it might take 10 minutes but then you do that for every item you've got and it starts to get ridiculous i'm not going to bother i would do it for things like you know weapons that they're going to be using again and again and again but not for something like this okay so that in theory should all be ready and done so i've got Haley open here you can obviously see that i'm going to zoom in a bit um, let's dump this emboldening brandy over here and dump it in a character sheet and you can see it goes under consumables uh, and if I hover over it it you can just about see there it says 20 out of 20 charges so uh, I did just test it so let's take off that so Haley's currently on four hit points out of 15 um, with no temporary hit points so in theory, let me just clear my log there while I was just playing with it and making sure it worked before I, you know, I, yeah, sometimes I do actually try things before I show you. <laughs> Not often, but I do. Um, let's click Emboldening Brandy. So first of all, straight away in the chat, it says Emboldening Brandy, temporary hit point one. It's adding that, healing, temporary, etc. I've got my little server card, which just allows me to undo that if I wanted to. I'm going to get rid of that at some point because it's really, really useful for debugging and stuff. But it in game, I don't need it. OK, so hovering over in Bold and Brandy, we can just about, if you can see that, it says 19 out of 20 charges. So it's appropriately used to charge and Haley now has one temporary hit point. It's not healed her normal hit points. It's just given her one temporary hit point. So that's what I would like it to do. What happens if Haley takes a second one? So just left click. Uh, emboldening brandy again it's adding one but we still only have one temporary hit point so it's not accumulating them which is good I don't want it to do that this is how I want it to work um, so we're now on 18 charges let's use a few more it doesn't like me going too fast with those so I'm just working my way through. We're down to nine charges, eight charges, seven charges, six charges, five charges, four charges, three charges, two charges, one charge remaining. And when we use it, it's gone. It's removed automatically from the character sheet. We only ever got that one temporary hit point. So for me, this is exactly how I want this to work. So the only thing left to do here for me Let's clear all that stuff out of the chat. Is to take that emboldened brandy and stick it in amongst these supplies here. I'm going to create a new pile. Uh, and there it is. And I'm just going to hide it. So until they search those in individual items um, and actually have a little look, they're not going to find it. What I will do is make this slightly smaller. This um, Let's make that scale... So my mouse is jumping all over the place because currently my dog is pouring at my arm for attention. <laughs> I can't use the mouse. So I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller there. Um, and yeah, I'll just stick it there. That'll do right where it is. That's absolutely fine. Um, so that's hidden. So when they search amongst this stuff, I can just reveal that. Because it's an item pile, they can pick it up, jump it into their, dump it into their backpack if they want to. Um, I've decided actually that I'm going to leave this pile of gear visible. Because it, it's it's there. It's going to be really obvious that they can see it when they come in. So Sildar's gear is going to be visible. They're going to have to do a bit of searching to find the emboldened brandy. Um, and this one over here as well, which is uh, this weapons rack, I'm also going to have that visible as well. So when they're actually there, let's drag Haley into this room. When Haley's actually here, she can see this. I just want to update that name. Maybe we'd actually maybe we'll call that <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> All right, yep. Everybody smart um laughing emojis in the comments. <laughs> I forget how to spell rack. <laughs> 
Oh no, that was really bad. Okay, so when Haley's in this room, we can see there's a weapon rack there, and it is she can search it and have a look what's in there. Um, when we're in here, she's not going to see the brandy, but she can see the pile of gear, and again, she can see what's in there. So nice and easy, not too difficult. Uh, just wanted to show you that creating a very simple magic item uh, that has uses and just adds one temporary hit point. That's it. Nice short video. Just wanted to show you that thing. Um, in the next video, we'll crack on with making the rest of Cragmore Castle. Thank you for watching. You take care.